Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Friday, April 22nd, I think. <laughs> oh God, I should check this before I get on. Uh, we're winding down our 55th week of dealing with this Chinese bat flu madness. No, August. Yeah, August. April 23rd, 2021. Winding down our 55th week of dealing with the everything going on with the with the pandemic. Oh. I watched Van City Van Life. Up in British Columbia, and he was saying they're closing down uh, a lot of BC for the upcoming weekend. Um, I'm not sure what holiday falls next to uh, the beginning of May for British Columbia. Excuse me. But they're locking people down into their into their districts health districts or whatever. Uh, I'm glad we don't have any of that going on right here in Florida. Anyway, today it is 75 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Uh, humidity is fairly low. Can't read it. I'm not going to look at it at the moment. Uh, 24 degrees Celsius. So... Part, part two, I guess, of the uh, Jeep Rats Park incident. They got into the they got into the seat yesterday at school. They were telling me I, I'm not fair. <laughs> That's what, what do you mean I'm not fair? Because if we want to go to a park. Yeah, a real park, too, not one you just call a park. <laughs> so, I reminded them, I mean, now they, they've been holding this, I mean, they've been mad, like, overnight about this. So, that's really, really something for them. But, uh, I reminded them that we're, you know, I promised to take them to the, to a nice park next week. When their older brother isn't with us and that they would have a choice of which park to go to so they have tentatively decided which park they want to go to and it's really not a big surprise there's a large wooden uh, looks like a looks like an early western fort more or less down at the beaches I've been I've, I've shared a video of that in the past um, Sunshine Park there's a lot of other stuff there sliding boards and swings and rope ladders and monkey bars all kinds of stuff so they love going down there but oh man I figured traffic was bad going the other way it wouldn't be bad going this way figures anyway there's a skate park down there a, fair, a pretty large fairly famous skate park down there and uh, they said oh cool we're gonna bring our skateboards I said no we're not going skating we'll get you a big one pop why do I need a big skateboard because you're big Ah, little monsters. They're right. There's no way I'm getting on a skateboard. I don't care how big it is. Well, I shouldn't say that. I've, I've seriously considered getting one of the really big all-terrain type surf, uh, the, the skateboards with a motor on it. 
but then I've also thought about, you know, I can't stand up for very long without my back giving me problems, so it probably wouldn't be the best thing for me, which is why I don't have one. Sometimes I do think like a, an adult. We'll get to that more in a couple minutes, so. Following along with the, uh, getting back to the granddaughter, who last week ran the mile for the first time with her, on her track team, and came in at uh, just under eight minutes. She called yesterday, or had her, her mom text me, and asked if I was going to show up for the to meet last night, so. I begged off from the from going out to dinner last night and uh, went to the track meet and she ran the mile again and she was the smallest one out there this week uh, or this meet there were a lot of people there there were five five schools showed up and then they ran the they ran the the, the mile both boys and girls in it. So there had to be 15 or 16 kids on the field. And Sarah was the smallest. Uh, she's also, like, she's the youngest. Or was the youngest. I'm, I'm to play close to at any rate. Um, she was definitely the, the smallest one on the track. But she finished, I mean, well behind, but she finished. You know, like I said, so there was a lot of a lot of eighth graders out there that, that I mean they look almost adult compared to some of the some of the uh, fifth and sixth graders. So she finished, I think it was 731. So she beat her own her own time. And she finished. Jay finished also. Jay is my, my grandson. And, uh, I don't remember what time. He didn't, he didn't come and tell us. But he was a little further up in the field. Um, somewhere around uh, 9 or 10. 9th or 10th, I think. So. Uh, now, not only did Sarah come in last. She actually got lapped. I mean, some of those girls that were out in front were flat, flying. Some of the guys are really picking them up, putting them down. So she got lapped. And on the second lap past the timing, they called out her time to her. She said, I'm starting my third lap. Otherwise, she could have been written down as having placed third. So extra kudos to her for not doing that although it realistically it never crossed her mind she kind of looked at us like are you nuts when we said something about you know very good for, for doing that like why would I, why would I have you know, said that I finished third when I didn't so very very proud of her, proud of both of them uh, now back to the adulting part uh, I'm probably not going to Ocala Flea Market this weekend I had a main motive to go there I was looking for uh, firearms here in Florida it's legal to buy firearms at, at flea market from a private individual as long as they don't sell more than a certain amount of guns a year or something I don't know the law but um, and there's no paper trail it's just a, a transaction between two people just like you know if, just like any yard sale or any other sale at the flea market 
so that was my main objective for going down there there's a couple of places down there that to look through uh, the flea market up here seldom have anybody selling anything or selling firearms anyway but then I looked at my finances I was you know, planning on taking out about $200 and I have a few other things I want to get done with that money and I've really gone through that stimulus check faster than I thought I was going through it I mean of course I've gotten quite a bit done with it but uh, yeah there's other things that I need that have a bigger priority than another firearm so I'm not going to spend the money to go all the way down there to walk that flea market. Although, while researching the best way there, I found a uh, I found a campground. Well, apparently, other everybody else knows about it, but I didn't know that they had a primitive. They had primitive sites available. So primitive means there's no electric or uh, water hookups or anything like that, which is, that's fine with me. I don't need electric or water. I'm not down there for that. Um, the only time I might need the electric is uh, for air conditioning. And right now, at night I can get by without it. So anyway, I'm not going to Ocala I may go down to this uh, park tomorrow, check it out, see if I can get get a spot and spend the night there tomorrow night. So that's a lot closer. It's less than half the half the gas. Sometimes being an adult really sucks. <laughs> uh, but I know in the long run, like a few things that I want to get done, um, that I'll use the money for instead of uh, buying a firearm or whatever. Because that's the other problem with me. I'll get down there and I'll be looking for, you know, have the money set aside for something and then be like, but that's a really nice knife. and buy the knife and then not have the money left to buy what I really went down there to do. Regardless of how hard I try, I got three black Tahoes. Well, maybe that one's not black. That's more gray. Those two are definitely black. Okay, one's a GMC, not a Chevrolet. That was interesting. So yeah, I know me. I'm, I'm terrible with terrible with my money. That's why one of the first things I do when I have any is hand it to the daughters and tell them to hold it for whatever purpose. So two fifty one for fuel. I got fuel last night at two forty eight. definitely coming down another now hiring sign everybody's hiring everybody wants help nobody wants to work and I guess I can understand it I mean if you can make the same money sitting down at home as you do at work why well, go to work But it's going to hit hit even harder. Places like this, uh, McDonald's and places like that, they need some help, or they're going to automate almost the entire thing. And then when people do want to go back to work, those you know 
and low wage jobs won't be available. So, and even right now they've got they've got machines out there that will cut grass at the at the golf course, uh, radio controlled, satellite controlled. So, I don't know that they're actually in use, but I know they're they're out there. They're available. Crazy world. Crazy, crazy world. Whew. I'm running late today. Uh, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is you'll leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We promise our next breath. So I see you all again. I hope you have a fed doctor's day. Slaunchy, y'all. Bye-bye.